Hey, what's going on everyone? It's that time again, we got another new weapon. The self-repeating rifle Model 38M, or the Carabine 1938M. Just a tad bit of history of the gun and we will move right into the stats and my impression. And if you are a Battlefield veteran, you will feel right at home with this gun because it is another prototype weapon. Only around 150 of these were made at the time until German invaded Poland, seizing the production. There were some accounts that this weapon may have been used by some German soldiers in occupied Warsaw. This time, it is a Polish weapon that fires a 7.92 by 57 Mauser, which is the same as the Kar 98K and the Gewehr 43 and many other rifles. Before we get into the review, I do want to mention that there may be a slightly annoying bug, which you will see in the video later on when I am reloading. It just appears to keep putting clips in. Dice please. But I digress, so this rifle, the Model 38, holds 10 rounds and has a rate of fire of 300. It is almost identical to the Gewehr 43 in that regards. The bullet velocity is 760 meters per second which is identical to the Gewehr 43 as well. If you decide to upgrade it on level 1 specialization tree, it can reach up to 860 meters per second. Both of these are faster than the fastest bolt action rifle rounds which is 700 meters per second from the Kar 98K and the Craig Jorgensen. The recoil data is quite obscure and I have some preliminary data but I don't want to show it to you since I can't verify it. I do think the recoil pattern is quite similar but for some reason it just appears that the Gewehr 43 may be more accurate and that's just my feeling. Then the damage model. It can do 45 damage up close up to 25 meters and 35.7 damage at 50 meters and then 33.5 damage beyond 75 meters. This would translate to a 3 shot kill at any distances. This would be identical to the Gewehr 43 and the 1916. These three guns are what I would describe as the king of consistency. You drop three shots onto a person and you are guaranteed to kill. As for specialization, I went with left, right, right, left, which are quick aim, custom stock for improved accuracy and aimed fire while moving, lightened stock which allows 60% faster movement while ADS, and then recoil buffer to decrease vertical recoil. The last one just lets you spam fire a bit easier. This is probably nothing new if you use semi-automatic rifles. So now we have this new carbine. How does it differentiate itself from one of the staple weapons already in the game in a meaningful way? The Gewehr 43. Its ammo count, bullet velocity, damage model, large part of the specialization tree, and maybe its playstyle are almost identical. The last point I said maybe, so I'll expand on that in just a bit. So here, let me show you the Gewehr 43 specialization tree. It is almost identical to that of the new Model 38 and I went with all left sides solely for one reason. The detachable magazine. It is by far the best thing I can do to this rifle. It allows you to be much more aggressive because of the quick reload and can often get you out of sticky situations, especially if you're against a large group of zerging enemies. As for the Model 38, it is simply not good enough. It is virtually identical to the Gewehr 43 but the reload is painfully slow from using the two 5 round clips. For me personally, this is a deal breaker. With both rifles, you can probably still sit back and sort of snipe people from distances just fine, but you will have to watch the slightly longer animation for the Model 38. But if there are any heated situations and you need to engage several enemies, the Model 38 is just not your friend. Probably neither is a good fair 43, but at least the latter can give you a better chance. Overall, my impression for this new weapon is mediocre. It is great to have a new weapon to play with and it is fun to mess around with. It is still a king of consistency and can be quite deadly. But ultimately, by virtue of the detachable magazine of the Gewehr 43, there is no reason based solely on the gameplay perspective to use the Model 38. But of course, if you like to use the weapon because of the style, or for fun, or for any other reason, please by all means do it. It is still a fun and decent weapon to use and has potential to deal massive damage. But it simply isn't as good as the Gewehr 43 and would be the inferior choice in a head to head comparison. Now, if you have already tried the gun, what do you think? And if you haven't already unlocked it, please go ahead and follow the Tides of War unlock which are quite simple. Let me know down in the comment section whether you have a different take on the weapon or do you also prefer the Gewehr 43 comparing these two weapons. Remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you think this video has earned it. If not, thumbs down. 
You all have an amazing day and I'll catch you all again soon.